So today we're going to show how the new Adobe PDF exploit works and how it's used by malware distributors to install various applications onto your machine. What we've done is we've uh, went to a website that has the Adobe Acrobat exploit and we can see now how it's infecting the machine. You can see a couple of files come through and the SVC host on the machine has been patched. We're using a program called Wireshark to monitor all the incoming traffic into the network and going out from the machine. While we're waiting to see if anything else comes down, we're going to go to another website and uh, pick up some more infections from there. This website is also using uh, various exploits, including the Acrobat exploit. You can see while it's loading, um, it's now currently exploiting the machine. Two, three, four, four more files coming down, and uh, it's lighting up like a Christmas tree right now. So all these programs that come down onto the machine is normally used for uh, either stealing passwords or installing rootkits onto the machine and uh, some of them install fraudulent applications like uh, rogue anti-spyware etc. Uh, just have a quick look to see if any more uh, incoming traffic is coming in. Not too much going on at the moment. Everything is being loaded onto the machine. Looking at Process Explorer, uh, if anything else comes up, we'll uh, we'll be able to see it in Process Explorer. Now we can see that um, this machine has um, some weird pop-ups coming up while you're browsing the, the machine, and we can see how as uh, IE Security Hijacker has hijacked our uh, Explorer shell. So now uh, we're just going to have a few more looks at uh, how much stuff has been installed. We're going to use tools like Gmer and hijack this to do this just to have a, a quick look and then we're going to show you guys how our product Prevec CSI uh, cleans this up. just going to install a few more things just to get it uh, nicely infected and uh, then we're going to give it a try. So some of you might be familiar with uh, some of these things that are going on right here. Um, this is quite common and every month there seems to be a, a new incarnation of the same rogue anti-spyware under a different name. So here we can see the payment page for the website. Um, if you were infected with this rogue anti-spyware, you'd um, be prompted to pay $59.99 to uh, remove all the problems on your machine. This is of course a scam and there's surprisingly a lot of people who are still falling for this day in and day out. You can see it's been added in the this, this system tray as well. I'm going to run Gmer just to show um, all the infections on the machine. There's a rootkit over there.
can see the rootkit installed over there and over there as well you can see um, xppolice.exe as well there which is part of one of their rogue anti-spyware products various other DLLs and so forth all deeply embedded into the system that's um, a Mozilla hijacker that's uh, responsible for uh, the BHO's uh, There's another rootkit over there and the service for the initial rootkit. So if we try and install Provex CSI onto the machine, um, there's a browser hijacker running inside Internet Explorer that's um, redirecting all traffic that would go to any antivirus website to um, their ad servers so at this point it's impossible to use Internet Explorer to download Provax but um, we'll get around that by using Opera in this case and um, luckily Opera is not affected by this uh, this problem so you can use uh, Opera to download Prevex and uh, from there we'll see how it's able to clean the machine. Uh, Prevex is a nice small download of uh, 850 kilobytes and what this allows us to do is get onto the machine quickly, uh, disinfect everything and um, allow you to use your machine again very quickly. Uh, with other products, scanning uh, cloud uh, to be able to get get the the application onto the machine as quick as possible, and no no need for downloading updates and definitions of files. Everything is done online, and as you can see here, it's detecting straight away uh, a lot of the threats, and it will start dealing with those as it goes on. All those files that uh, were outlined in the log earlier is now detected over here and uh, also associated registry keys and so forth will all be deleted um, when the machine reboots. So this process will take you around four or five minutes to get Prevax onto the machine, get it scanning, cleaning the machine and so forth. A typical scan of Prevax takes around one minute to complete and in that one minute um, it scans all the, the areas that we've identified that's important. So at this point we can now see the machines clean. We'll verify that uh, using GMER as well and also using hijack this just to have a quick look and see how much uh, registry entries and so forth are left. So at this point from what I can see there that's telling me that all the malicious entries have been removed. Also just have a quick look to see if the rootkits have been removed. Um, doing a quick scan there everything appears to be gone and um, the machine's back to normal.